Okay folks, here we have um, a couple of elements. These are actually in a hot liquor tank which we use for brewing. Which you, if you're a subscriber to the channel you probably have already seen. And what I've done is taken the fronts off them. Because one of the uh, elements is showing signs of scorching on the top end. And I want to test that the element is actually functioning correctly so these are the neutrals are to, sort of wired together on this particular plug so I'm just disconnecting these so I get a correct reading and uh, what we're going to do is take our multimeter and we're going to set the multimeter to the ohms looks like an upside down horseshoe that's the ohm setting, this is an auto ranging multimeter but if you've got one that isn't auto ranging just set it to the, pretty much the lowest setting because the elements that we're testing here are uh, around 2 kilowatt and we run 240 volt here as well and I happen to know that to discover what ohms, what resistance reading you should have on, your, on each element it is uh, the, the the equation is volt squared okay divided by the watt power the wattage of the element so if I look in here the rated value of this one is 240 volts and it's 1930 watts so 240 times 240 equals 57,600 divided by 1930 watts so 29.8 ohms is the reading we're looking to get from this particular test so we'll set the meter up there I think you can just about see that I'll just reposition it a little bit now let's have a look Make sure you give your probes a wiggle around, get good contact. And we were looking for 29.8. We've got 29.8. So that one is A OK. -okay. And we have another one over here that you can just see to the side. Now this one is rated 230 volts times 230 volts equals 52,900 and the wattage is 2050 2050 equals oh you plonker 2 what did we say 30 230 times 230 equals divided by 2050 25.8 ohms on this one so let's uh, establish good contact with the terminals and we're looking for 25.8 and you can see on the multimeter we've got 25.8 that's good news these are working now of course these can be any element they can be uh, washing machine elements, immersion heater elements, even kettle elements the idea and the process is fundamentally the same so all it is all is remaining for me to do is connect the uh, terminals back up put the cases back on and commence with my brewing day ah, that one on there let's fold a little bit that one on there don't forget guys Click the little red button in the corner and subscribe, it helps me out. And uh, thanks for watching.